Hello, welcome back once again. Today we're going to evaluate this limit here. We have limit as x is approaching negative 1 of x cubed plus 1 divided by x to the power of 5 plus 1. When you try making a direct substitution here, we get negative 1 to the power of 3, which is negative 1, plus 1 will give us 0, divided by negative 1 to the power of 5 is negative 1, plus 1 will give us 0, and we can see that this is in indeterminate form. Right, so what should we do? Now in this video, I'll be presenting two different methods. So let's start with the first method. And for my first method, we're going to apply the l hop to rule. So now the l hop to rule states that the limit as x is approaching a of let's say we have two different functions of x so we have here h of x divided by g of x then l operator's rule states that this limit is also equal to limit as x is approaching a of the derivative of the upper function divided by the derivative of the one at the bottom right so we can see the derivative of h of x, which is h prime of x, divided by the derivative of g of x, which is g prime of x. Now comparing this with our given limit, we find out here that our h of x is equal to x cubed plus 1. And our g of x is equal to x to the power of 5 plus 1. Now to find the derivative from here, so we have h prime of x will be equal to, now let us take note of this power rule. When we have the derivative with respect to x of x to the power of n, this is the general case, right? So this is equal to multiplying by this power here, n, then subtracting 1 from the power. So make use of this here, we have x cubed here, so that will be 3x raised to power 3 minus 1, which is 2 then plus derivative of a constant is 0. So therefore, h prime of x is equal to 3x squared. And for g prime of x, so we're going to have 5x raised to 5 minus 1, which is 4, plus derivative of a constant is 0. So therefore, with the help of this l hopetus rule, so we can deduce that the limit as x is approaching negative 1, of x to the power of 3 plus 1 divided by x to the power of 5 oh, plus 1 oh sorry for that that this will be equal to limit as x is approaching negative 1 of 3x squared divided by 5x to the power of 4 then we are free to make our direct substitution from here remember this power of x is even and this power of x is even Therefore, the negative 1 to the power of an even number is 1. So, therefore, we have 3 times 1, which is 3, divided by 5 times 1, which is 5. And here, we have the right answer to the problem. So, this limit is exactly equal to 3 all over 5. Now, what, our, what of our second method? We're going to solve this algebraically, right? So, here, we're going to solve it algebraically. Okay, now let us find a way to, should I say reduce, okay, to simplify the given function. So here, first of all, let's start with x to the power of 3 plus 1, which is same as x to the power of 3 plus 1 to the power of 3. Then we're going to make use of the sum of two cubes formula. We have a cubed plus b cubed, so this will be equal to a plus b multiplied by a squared minus a b plus b squared so all we need to let here is a to be equal to x and b to be equal to one and here we derive the following that this will be x plus one into brackets x squared minus x plus one and for the quintic quintic expression at the bottom this is easily factorized as x plus 1 into bracket x to the power of 4 minus x cubed plus x squared plus, sorry, 
that is minus x plus 1. Let me rewrite again. x plus 1 into bracket x to the power of 4 minus x cubed plus x squared minus x plus 1. This is easily done using synthetic division. Since we know that x plus 1 is a factor of this, right? Okay, so our limit now as x is approaching negative 1 of x to the power of 3 plus 1 divided by x to the power of 5 plus 1 will be equal to limit as x is approaching negative 1 of x plus 1 into bracket x squared minus x plus 1 or divided by x plus 1 into bracket x to the power of 4 minus x cubed plus x squared minus x plus 1. So here we have this nice cancellation from here and our limit is equal to limit as x is approaching negative 1 of x squared minus x plus 1 divided by x to the power 4 minus x cubed plus x squared minus x plus 1. So we are free to make our rest substitution once again. So here, negative 1 squared is 1, then minus minus 1, which is 2 plus 1, that will give us 3, divided by, here we have 1, minus minus 1, which is 2, plus 1, 3, minus minus 1, which is 4, then plus 1, we have our right answer once again as 3 all over 5. Thank you for watching. Please kindly subscribe to my channel. Also like, comment, and share. Bye-bye.